6 a.m., Berlin is waking up. Early risers pick up some almond pastry at a Turkish bakery. Hat maker Fiona Bennett works on her creations. A fisherman is on his way to work. And so is world famous conductor Daniel Barenboim. It seemed amusing. And it was a fun thing, so I thought, why not? All year I do so many serious things, so why not? This is my boss. Frau Bergmeister is my boss. <laughs> Sometimes. Train arriving, platform four. The documentary aims to show all the facets of the German capital, from star conductor to train driver. Stories about people from all walks of life. The idea stems from Volker Heise. As artistic director, he had to coordinate many different parts of the project. 80 different teams shooting various episodes, each telling its own story about the city. The city is a contradiction in itself. You have lots and lots of people with different interests. They all want something different from what their neighbors want, but they all have to live on this one planet. They have to get along. At the same time, there are always conflicts, and that's really what I wanted to show. Preparations for the project took two years. The documentary shows Berlin on a perfectly normal Friday, the 5th of September 2008. It was shot in real time over a period of 24 hours all over the city. At the end of the day, the teams brought home 750 hours of footage. This raw material was viewed and cut all day and all night over the course of the following year. It's a funny feeling when you work on a project for so long. Three years of your life is a long time. And when you think you're finally finished, you could almost cry. And actually, we didn't know until just before the end whether we would finish on time. Now we're finally done. The other thing is that now you can't change anything anymore. You can't fiddle with it. It is what it is. You worked on it for three years, and now it's the way it is. And that's it. Daniel Barenboim rehearses Tchaikovsky's opera Eugene Onegin with star tenor Rolando Viazon at the Staatsoper. The conductor from Buenos Aires has been music director here for 17 years. A long relationship ties him to Berlin. I first came to Berlin in 1963. That's already 46 years ago. Back then, when the Berlin Wall was still standing, People's opinions on the city differed extremely. Some said it's a fantastic city that's bold and has energy. And some said, well, it's not Munich, it's not Hamburg, it's some kind of a little island. But I was always fascinated by the energy that's coming from this city. Twenty years after the fall of the wall, Berlin has become a metropolis again. Vibrant, colorful, sometimes a bit over the top. And that's how the film shows it. The cost of living is lower here than in most of the world's great cities. And that makes Berlin a magnet for creative young people. Hatmaker Fiona Bennett loves the city. Berlin inspires you to dream. It seems as if everyone has the chance to make their dream come true here. Or so they think. 24 Hours Berlin is a lively portrait of a multifaceted city, one that's vibrantly alive around the clock.